Hey everyone, it's Tatiana and today I want to talk to you about how you can win at life. So imagine being back in grade school and your teacher is going to hand you a paper with a grade for an assignment that you did, except this isn't just any ordinary homework assignment, this is a grade on your life. Now, I personally would strive for an A+. I think that some people in life would be content and settle with a C plus or a B, but I think if you're watching this channel, you probably also want to receive an A plus on your score of life because my personal philosophy is I want the best. I want to be the best version of myself and that is the version that is continuously growing. And so I assume that many of you share that value. So how do you go about it? I don't want to infantilize you with this video. What I do want to do is break down something that can seem overcomplicated when really all it is is about getting clarity. It's about getting clarity on where you currently are because from that place you can look at, okay, there's certain areas of my life where you know I'm not performing the best. I may be getting a C plus or a C or a C minus or God forbid a D. And then there's other areas of my life that I'm performing really well. I'm getting B's and A's and A pluses and maybe what I can do is I can now shift my attention onto some other areas of life because the reality is that we all have 24 hours in a day. That is the one thing among us that is 100% equal and nobody can argue with that. But how we use those 24 hours is really what will change your life. So if you want to change your life, you have to figure out how can I make the most out of those 24 hours? And you may be using some that time on areas of your life that you're really already doing well in, that you can shift that focus and attention on some areas of your life that you that are suffering. And so I wanna share with you how you can do that. And it starts with getting clear. Now, this is something I wanna share with you because it's not something that we're taught in grade school for some reason. I don't know why school doesn't think that it's important to teach you how you can win at life, <laughs> how you can plan your life and how you can understand what your values are in life. And I think that is a key. I talk a lot in different videos about how the key is to understand what is important to you. What do you value in life? And some people just never thought twice about what it is they value. So let's start with that. Okay. So understand this, we all value certain things in life and there's no right or wrong with this answer. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you need to know what it is that you value and you need to know the order in which you value each thing. So here I have an example of some things that you can, you know, you can pull from me, but you can of course add to your list anything that comes to mind. And I thought about the order in which I value these things and understand that the, the order of which you value things can shift all the time. It shifts when there's a major life change, but as you grow older and more mature, you just start to value different things in your life. Over my lifetime, this value system has changed a ton. And you know, there was a time where I valued my career above all else. And now when you look at this, I'm going to read it to you in a second. You're going to see how low on that chart my career is. Okay. So like I said, there's no right or wrong. It's just, you're going to value different things at different times in your life. Okay. So here I have health as one of my top values and I value health because I think that without my health, there's very little that I can do. And there's very little that I contribute to the people I love, my family, for example. So health is very important to me. I take it seriously. And because it's my number one value, you better be sure that I take care of my health because whatever you value most in life, you will find the time to do. If you value health, you will find the time to hit the gym. You will find the time to take that yoga class. You will find the time to make your smoothie in the morning. You will find the time, whatever you value most, you will find the time for. Keep that into your mind. Remember that because if there's something that you want to do, but you're not doing it, it's because there's an incongruency. There's a desire, but you're not taking any action upon it. And that's probably because of your value system. Okay. My second one is family. I really value my family. Now this has gone up since having my son Lucas. Okay. So this shifted. My priority is my family above all else. If Lucas has a need or Stefan, you know, I'm, I'm there like anything on my calendar, let's move that back. So it's a huge value of mine. Spirituality, my relationship with God, being present in the moment to moment. That's really another big value of mine that's gone up over the years relationships, my relationship with my spouse, my relationships with my friends. Those are important to me as well. Growth, having that growth mindset, continuously trying to grow, being honest with myself and reflecting on what areas of my life am I suffering in? You know, are there things that I need a reality check on? Where can I grow personally? 
and taking responsibility for that. That's a huge thing that I think is important for us to all adopt when we have that growth mindset is taking responsibility because that responsibility is empowering. Because when you want to grow, when you want your life to change, when you want an A plus life, you really can't say, well, I can only have an A plus life if my spouse changes or if my kids start to listen to me or if, you know, I finally get that raise in my career. Well, because the reason you can't do those things, you won't ever make any changes in your life when you are waiting for external things to change. Because the reality is that you don't have control over those things. You may have a perception of control over your spouse or your kids, but ultimately you don't have control. The only thing you do have control over is yourself. And so taking that personal responsibility is extremely empowering because that's when you start to create changes in your life. Next thing I have here is fun. I like to have fun. <laughs> I actually have a lot more fun now that I've had a child, which is something that people don't really talk about is like how fun kids are and how silly they are and how like funny they are. They just say funny things, they do funny things. Like I laugh all the time. So fun is up there. Community. Being part of community, I think as human beings, that's very natural, it's biological, we need a sense of community. And down here, the, the two bottom ones now, as you can see for me, are career and money. And, you know, I can say that now, that money's at the very bottom of my list because of where I'm at in my life. I'm financially free, so money, I don't have financial insecurity in ways that I did in the past. In the past, money would have been way up there, right? So this is my value system. And this is the current order of things. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to think of your value system, what it is that you value in your life, and think of the, the order of which those come in. Now, the top three ones here, okay, the top three in your value system, for me that's health, family, and spirituality, those are the things that you're probably gonna be spending most of your time in. And if you're not spending most of your time in those things, you're gonna feel that sense of incongruency within you. There is a desire, you have this value, but you're not fulfilling it. You're not meeting the need for it. And so you're not gonna feel content. You're gonna, you're gonna feel antsy because you're neglecting that area of your life. So what I want you to do next is I want you to create a little pie chart here, okay? This is a very unattractive pie chart, but it doesn't matter. This is something also that you can learn from Tony Robbins' Wheel of Life. He really explains this clearly, so if you like this content, I would recommend learning about that. So here you have all these different categories on the pie chart. Again, I'll read to you relationships, personal growth and learning, spirituality, money, career, health, fun, community. We got friends and family, okay? So th this is my wheel and yours can look different. Now what I want you to do is I want you to honestly reflect on each of these areas of value. And I want you to rate yourself, okay? As, as though you are a teacher and you are gonna give yourself a letter grade. Now, there's three ways that you can go about this. You can either just like color this in, you know, community, I feel like I'm, I'm you know, this is where I'm at with my community. And friends and family, I'd say I'm, I'm really doing well with this, so I'm gonna color this in a lot. Or you can give yourself a letter grade. You can say relationships, wow, relationships, I'm really, really doing well with that right now. That's an A plus. But personal growth and learning, you know, I'm really not dedicating a lot of time to that. I'm not reading books, I'm not going to seminars, I'm not really learning much on the day to day, I'm not stimulated. So I'm gonna give myself a C, okay? So you can do a letter grade or you can do percentages, okay? So you can say, or you can say like spirituality, I give myself eight out of 10, okay? So you can choose how you wanna do this. The point is, you're gonna go through this pie chart and you're gonna reflect. And I want you to take the time with this to really think about it, be honest with yourself. And by the end, what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see that there's certain areas in life that you are acing, okay? Career, A plus, you're killing it. You're doing great with your career. Health, you realize, you know what? My career has come at the cost of my health. I have neglected my health because I'm waking up early, I'm going straight to work, I'm working late nights. There's no time to work out. There's no time for healthy meals. So my health, unfortunately, you know, I'm failing at my health. I'm gonna give myself a D. Okay, so once you finish this chart, you see now there's areas in your life that you are excelling in. Give yourself praise for that, okay? A clap for you because that is an achievement. That's a success. Congratulations. It doesn't come easily. But now you see that there's areas of life that are suffering. And if you value those areas, you wanna make sure that you raise that score so that you can feel good. So let's see here, health, okay. 
can I take some time out from the areas that I'm acing and dedicate it to the areas that I'm failing at? And the answer is always yes, okay? Because it's a matter of choice. You do have choice. Don't let anyone tell you you don't. And this is where the honesty comes in, right? You have to be honest with yourself because if you're not, you're the one who's at the disadvantage. You're the one who's gonna be losing out. This is your opportunity to change. This is your opportunity to make progress in your life to grow. So you wanna figure out how can I dedicate some of the time that I'm using that right now, you know, I'm having a lot of fun in my life. I'm going out on the weekends, I'm really having a good time, but you know, my spiritual connection, my relationship is, is suffering. And so how can I, you know, direct some of that time attribution to some of this, these other areas that I'm valuing. And so like I said, we all have 24 hours in a day, right? And it's about how you allocate those 24 hours. And the reality is that you might be extremely busy, but at the end of the day, we all have about a few hours to ourselves, whether it's that time that you use to go to the gym, whether you use it to cook or bake something, whether you use it to hang out with friends, to zone out and watch sports or TV, to browse your social media. I mean, if you really add up and check out your screen time, you can see how much time you're spending there. So you want to get honest with where you're spending those hours. And sometimes it's valuable to use some sort of a time tracking app. For me, I never cared for those things, but for some people it is helpful to make them aware of where their time is being spent. And then you have to be honest and, and then you have to say, okay, let me dedicate some of this time to these other areas of life. So I promise you, when you do this, when you get clear on what you value in life, which will help you to make decisions in your life, if you ever feel conflicted with a decision, you just revert back to, oh, let me think of my value system. Oh, well, if I make this decision, this is an alignment with my value system or it's misaligned and that helps you to make decisions in life. If you do this by dedicating the time to the areas that are suffering right now, in a three month period, your life will look completely different, okay? So give yourself three months and your life will be completely different. But it means taking action. So when I say dedicating the time to these areas that are suffering, that means that you have to come up with things that you can do to help improve those areas. And that again will look different for everyone. But for example, if community, if you do value community, but you're really, you know, you're failing at community, well, you have to think, what can I do to create more of a sense of community? Well, I can join my community center classes. I can join some classes there. Or I could join meetup and I can do hikes and I can do yoga in the park. Or I could actually invite some friends over and we can have a dinner party. And so that that's all I have for you guys. I wanted to share that with you. I think that this can be practical, practical advice for you guys to help you to start to build your life. This is called building your life, being the architect of your life, being intentional about your life. And again, this isn't something that your teachers will teach you in grade school. There's no class on intentional living, yet this is what's important because without this, you wake up every day and you just are being thrown into the day and every day passes and there's no intention behind anything and pretty soon you're 70 years old and you're on your deathbed and you're thinking, what did I do with my life? <laughs> so we don't want you to be that person, okay? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear your feedback. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.